Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Radio Man 03, and you can bet it is awesome to have you along. Thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the video. Uh, I've upgraded the wall. I think it's completed. Um, we may have a lingering one or two posts that might need a second coat of concrete. Uh, I'm checking it right now. Some of them are... The ones that are wet have just received, of course, a coating. But I believe that's the second coating. So this wall should be... Uh, completely 100% uh, upgraded to the full concrete, and it should be dry by tonight. Tonight's day 21, so we got the 21-day hoard. I fully expect to have the 21-day hoard in today's video. Uh, I want to take care of a few things that we've uh, not taken care of just yet, and that is the um, force ground. Wow, that's going to take a what? Why does it take it so long to make forest ground? I had no idea it would take that long. Is there any max crafting? Let's see if max crafting. Can I upgrade crafting speed? Quicker crafting? I can. Let's buy that. Matter of fact, let's let's get it all the way up. Let's see if that helps. Does that, is that going to speed it up? It's not. Okay, so let's go ahead and do the this again. Forest ground. Max it out. <laughs> it doesn't seem any faster to me at all. Uh, well, whatever. It, it's going. So what I want to do is I want to go out and I want to take advantage of the fact that I do not have the forges running right now. And I want to get uh, spikes put down where the witches always show up. That's one thing I want to take care of. Also, I have some... Well, we've got something else we could work on in the meantime. I've got 20 of these guys here right now. So we're going to work on these guys next. Uh, it occurred to me that the spider zombies will probably be able to climb up some of these poles. They're going to be able to walk up this anyways if they want to. But I'm going to try to kind of deter that. I think what I'm going to do is put... Um, yeah, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to go to advanced rotation. I think I want to do something like that right there. That right there, just to keep them off of that. There we go, just like that. Just to just to kind of give them a deterrent to go up there. If they do go up there, it's okay. Uh, I think if I go now, R, and hit on face. Yeah, there we go, just like that. And then one, we want one right here. Boy, it's really up there high, isn't it? It's up high. And, ooh, this is bad. Oh, I gotta walk out here. Oh, God, it's gonna hurt. Oh, okay, we're okay. <laughs> we're okay. Take a little bit of damage. No big deal. No big deal. We're okay. We're okay. Uh, and then what else? Where else should I put these? Maybe one here. One here. One down here. One down here. Something like that right there. And then just if they're coming by this area, they'll scrape it and they'll they'll take a bunch of damage and hopefully die with that. Or at least be damaged to the point of, you know, easier to kill. So let's do that too. Let's put one there. One there. One there. Did I put one at the bottom? I don't think I did, right? No, just there. So let's do that. Let's do that right there too. We'll upgrade these guys as well. Hope you guys are doing great. I'm doing fantastic. Matter of fact, uh, you know, uh, hopefully... Oh. It's not all the way to the top. Dang it. Matter of fact, this one isn't to the top either. Now, why would I do something like that? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> there we go. Uh, back from vacation, obviously. Took a, a week off. Variety and I, my wife and I, we went out and took a trip uh, to Catalina and Ensenada on a cruise ship. Those of you who don't know that. And uh, we had a fantastic time. I mean, a great time. The highlight was the deep sea fishing. I told this story already on my Medieval Engineer series, but some of you may not have caught that. Oh, i got to go back in here, too. There we go like that. I'll take a little pain for the game. I'll take a little bit of pain for the game. Something like that right there. Well, that, I think that'll stop the spider monkeys. And that was the highlight of our trip. I mean, we caught Bonita and we caught uh, Yellowtail, Tuna, and uh, the the crew on the ship in Ensenada, this, this little fishing boat. 
oh man they set us up good real good in a great spot we did a really uh, just a wonderful wonderful time i could not have asked for a better fishing trip for my first fishing trip out out and about like that it was a fantastic you know what i need to do i need to take that off that off and i need to put this guy down here and this guy down here there we go let's make sure these are loaded i've got our ammunition and everything ready to rock and roll for tonight so i'm not too concerned uh, about that we've got a, a hundred explosive crossbow bolts we've got i think 200 plus uh um what's the word i'm looking for um i think i've got it right here yeah 238 regular cross bolts 100 explosive ones 485 rounds plus what's in the gun right now 44 of these guys 20 molotov cocktails i think i'm pretty good for tonight i think i'm pretty good for tonight uh is it just billy out here or do we have more trouble than this even Oh, Billy. I don't see any witches out here, so that's the main thing. Oh, look at that. That's going to make that ground do that, huh? So let's take the shotgun off. Let's get these guys out. I believe if I take these guys right here and I find... Maybe if I use that one down here, it'll level this out a little bit better. Hmm. No, it's not going to, is it? Uh, so let's go ahead and put one of these. Oh, God, that scared me. I'm a little rusty. Uh, not only did we fish and catch a bunch of fish, but then they actually cooked the fish on the boat for us a little bit. They made uh, ceviche, a raw fish. Uh, kind of a, just like an appetizer. It was just so dang good. And they, they took these thin strips of the yellowtail fish that we had caught and uh, just put um, lime juice over them. And it kind of cooked them just a little bit, just enough to uh, you know, take some of the rawness out of the meat, which was just beautiful. I mean, it was just absolutely delicious. And the crew was full of these colorful characters and they were wonderful people. And we had such a great time that uh, we'll go back and do it again. We will go back and do it again. Oh man, looks like they, got, they really got busy here, didn't they? Uh, I need my shovel. I'm gonna need my shovel. Oh, look at that. That cleans it up, huh? Kind of. Uh, how, how do I do that? How do I get this to flatten out? I don't know. I don't know what to do right here to make that a little bit flatter. It does I don't know if it really matters because what we're gonna do next is we are going to spike this up. I guess what I'm going to use that for is just a way to know where it is that they've been, they've been spawning at and coming in at. So maybe if I just do this right here and just kind of spike this area up, we're going to be better off. Like that, right there. And I think... Yeah, something like that right there. It's this area that the witches seem to focus on the most. So wherever they've been, this is where they've been standing. This is their area that they like. Oh man, they've done some serious digging out here, man. You know that? They really have done some serious digging. Anyways, this fishing trip was the highlight of our entire vacation. And it's definitely something that I'm going to want to do every time. I go there because they were just uh, such great people and it was so much fun and they took such good care of us out there and made sure we had a great time. Uh, their goal was to, of course, make sure we had a great time, catch a lot of fish and, you know, so on and so forth. And that's exactly what we did. It was really a, a great, great time. Uh, so and lots of drinks, lots and lots of drinks. Brian and I found a place called Tequila Jacks in Long Beach that uh, we took advantage of that. Let's get some more of those spikes going. Let's do another 50 of those. Let's just stop that dirt from going now that we've got enough of that already. Uh, we'll do that. And let's... Uh, is this going to be good? Is this going to be a good enough area for them? It seems to me like they're just kind of scattered all over the place over here, aren't they? If I could fill this in right here with spikes, I think I'd be pretty happy with that right there. I think that would be the best bet. But anyways, just to, to make a long story short, we had a lot of fun. Um, I'm back. 
I'm going to start recording uh, regular episodes again as usual. Uh, now I'm hot. Okay, wear that. Take that off of the bar. There we go, and we need to take this out of here. There we go, beautiful. That should be a good stretch of land right here. Uh, some of you suggested that what I do is I build um, maybe a, uh, a battle area for the mob knights out here. Since this is right above the forges and this is where we're kind of, you know, even having to focus with the witches and stuff like that. And I'm really considering doing something like that. I'll see what it takes, but right now we've gone through the materials that we had. Come on, why won't you go right there? There we go, thank you. Uh, and, and I don't have, I'm going to have to make a bunch more concrete mix. I don't know how long that's going to take to do all that, but I had considered a, taking and putting... Um, a kill chamber out here, sort of a battleground with maybe a, a path that leads from, from there to here underground that we would be able to just, you know, crawl through. I just don't know how long we're going to ow, 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 stay on this world with uh, another update coming. So we're just going to kind of have fun with this. I, again, I feel like this is kind of uh, the, the growing pain stages of my gameplay, learning while you guys teach me and stuff like that. So uh, it's it's been a great experience so far for me, and I know a lot of you guys are enjoying the videos too. So I, I really appreciate the support and the understanding that uh, you are dealing with the true epitome of a noob on uh, on this game. <laughs> That's for dang sure. Uh huh. All right, there we go. Do I have any more of those being made? No. I think that's good. I think that's got a good a good low row of spikes going on right here. A little bit coming out to the side. We'll see if that stops the witches from coming in. The other thing I'm going to want to do out here is take this dirt and fill all of this in. I think I'm going to go ahead and give up on using this as a clay area and just fill it in. And let the zombies kind of walk over the top of this. And then we'll, we'll pick a different spot for clay. Okay, I think that's going to be the best bet, because right now they're just taking advantage of this and they're doing some digging, and I don't want them doing that anymore. So if we can make this to where they can just walk over the top of it, I'd be pretty happy about that. Some of it's got to go up two, so two spaces, like so, because I've dug down two in here. So I think I want to fill all this in again and just try to get this as back to natural forest as possible so we don't have... Uh, these guys doing this anymore I think I think that'll be okay right there right is, is, that, is, is that gonna be okay so that, that pulled it up there we go that that works right they should be able to walk over this without walking up and punching it I think I think I think now why is this hopping up so high like that that's what I don't understand I guess it's a gradual incline is what it's doing here all on its own. I've altered the terrain, obviously, by digging in here. I think that's... Yeah, that's... That's looking good. This is a nice gradual incline up to here. They should walk up that without having an idea of punching it, right? And tearing into it. I'm going to finish working on this real quick and get this kind of sealed up. Uh, and taken care of so that we don't have to worry about this anymore out here, hopefully, uh, until we decide what we want to do next. And probably going to build some sort of a trap over here that we can come up out of the ground and deal with the witches and stuff like that in the future. I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know. So I'll be back uh, in a second. So do stick around. I shall return. Recipes, forest ground, max it out, and go. Yeah, I'll be right back. And that's got it right there. That takes care of this area. I think I picked the wrong ground. Though. I think this is forest ground. We get some really dark green grass growing in here. So this must not be forest ground that I'm putting this in. But anyways, it's 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 covered up nevertheless. It's it's all fixed up, so that looks good. Looks better. We've got that going on now for the witches. We'll see how that does. If if we hear them getting stuck on there and and getting chewed up, that's great. If we hear them still standing out here uh, screaming at us and stuff like that because of the forges down below, then we know we've got to add probably, I would think, probably from there across and then back up to this direction here and over. And that should be enough spikes then to, to probably get them. I don't know. Do, do, they, do they just walk on the spikes stupidly? 
and not know any better? I suppose they do, right? Or what would really be great out there, the perfect solution out there is just a shotgun turret with its own little generator with power in it, and that would take care of those guys just great. Uh, I want to go ahead and check, make sure I've got all these guys upgraded as well. I think I do. Let's just do a little strafe here, and we'll see if we've got them all taken care of. It looks like they're pretty good, although we did find some that weren't done, so, you know, there's that going. I don't want to walk into any of this stuff, though, and that's all looking good there. These have to come out, of course. We're going to reconfigure this whole thing. Ah, there's one back there that's not done. Um, yeah, we're going to have to get hurt a little bit here. There we go. And we're good to go. There we go. Uh, armor is now level six. Ha! <laughs> I've upgraded our armor. Look at that. Okay, oh, that one needed a little repair, huh? Okay, so it's probably us. I'm probably the only one causing damage to these spikes right now is because I'm walking on them uh, with my big feet. Mm-hmm. I'm pretty sure that's the case. Uh, I've been killing off the, of the few zombies here and there that are showing up, like this guy, this guy right here. Uh, control, let's... Uh... That was rude. Come on, Holly. That's that a girl, baby. That a girl. What a what a sweet what a sweet. Oh, duct tape, nice. Oh, that's some food. Are you kidding me? That's awesome. I've got a few more of those dirt pieces being made as well. I uh, went downstairs, cooked up some more meat stews. We have two more meat stews, two blueberry pies, and I got a bunch of cornmeal being made as well. Oh, oh, oh. oh there she is. <laughs> she, the old switcheroo. <laughs> the old switcheroo on me there. I've also dug this out a little bit more too. Uh, I don't know that that's going to help out too much. I just figured if I got it back a little bit further, that way when the zombies do come in here, uh, they're just, you know, crashing into and coming off this and going into the trap area. Now, a couple of you noticed that I screwed up on this side, which is going to be a timely mistake to have made. Uh, I don't have my blade trap uh, area completely correct. I don't. So from where that mistake was made on down, I think I'm going to have to uh, completely redo let's see here so I've got I've got the gap there the gap should be there okay next gap should be right here and then our next gap should be yeah see right here is where I made the mistake right here so we've got this the blade trap takes care of this row and the row next to it and then what we should have is a blade trap right here so this is where I've made my mistake right here that's three blocks. Now I'm wondering, how it, do I have that mistake going all the way down or do I have it fixed from here? Okay, gap, no, gap, no. Uh, wow, you know what? It might, I've got two mistakes in here actually, two. Oh boy, that is, that's gonna be a timely, timely mistake to fix. So basically, uh, I believe it's, one, two, three over here, right? How far back from the, it's it's two from the back. So really what I need to do is I'm gonna have to get up here. Go back to here and I'm gonna have to knock these guys out from here. I don't know how many of these I messed up on or if the patterns just screwed up for a little ways, I don't know. So we're gonna have to figure that out, but I'm gonna have to take these guys out uh, and then, gosh, I don't know, Do is the next row, is it is it incorrect? I think it is. But yeah, so I'm going to have to go through like this all the way through. And we don't have the auger. That's going to be one of our... Oh boy, oh boy, we got a horde coming in. Should have known. Why aren't you moving fast? Tabitha was moving quick. Just me or these guys moving faster. No, Billy, no touching me, man. <laughs> Holy moly. Grandma? Guys always get me. Uh, 
Uh... Fall down, Grandma. This is nice. A little Horde Knight prep. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's quite a load of zombies. Ooh. Wow. Just me or was that a lot? Oh, you know what? I need to spike that up too. This corner here is not spiked. Um, wooden spikes. How many can I make? Let's make up. Uh, let's make up a hundred of those. We'll get those going. All right. Let's go back here and start looting the bodies. And we'll cover them up so we get all the good stuff off the bones and everything else. Oh, nice. That was that was actually pretty good. Nice little warm up for Horde Night. I should have known one would come. I should have known a roaming horde would get through here. They, they always show up. Nothing on them, though. It's just ridiculous how very few things we get off of these guys. Oh, baby. Nice. Well, they kind of caught me by surprise there. I hope that doesn't mean that the zombies are going to be coming from that direction tonight. God, I hope not. Let's, let's scrap that. We're going to drop that right there because we're going to have a bunch of stuff coming in here. I hope. So far, no. Uh, what else have I been up to in this, this uh, last day before the Horde Night? Um, really, it was all about getting that fixed since we've got the forges off. I thought I'd really take advantage of the downtime on the forges to get uh, that stuff fixed. Okay, we don't need that. We don't need that. Nothing good, huh? Well, we're getting to the other. We're, we're getting to the last of them here. Maybe they'll have something better down the road here. Oh, there's a schematic. That's nice. I've not made the armor yet. That's what I've got going on downstairs. I wanted to get the. Uh, wanted to take a look at armor. So I've got a bunch of forged iron going on right now. Uh, because right after this horde night, we're gonna have to go out and get parts for our um, blade traps. really disappointing. I mean, that, that that is some crap loot right there, huh? I didn't get much of anything off of them. Uh, we, except for one good schematic. Oh, that works. That works for me. I'll take the schematic. Now, do we have room for the stuff that I threw down? Uh, yeah, but we, don't, we do not need an aloe seed. We don't need that. So back to what I was saying, uh, and we got these spikes going on. We, I cannot forget to put these spikes down. <clears throat> No, sir. These guys have got to come in here. There we go. That should be good. Just wanted to get that corner fused up a little bit better. The rest of them we can take and put over by where we're, uh, we're trying to keep the witches from spawning in. So let's see, right here is where we were at. Wow, this it's really a, a, a very time-consuming task, isn't it? So what is what time is it? It is 16. It's 4:30 in the afternoon. I still have about five hours to go, five and a half hours to go before Horde Night hits here. So I'm gonna see if I can't tinker with this a little bit and get this ahead because after tonight's Horde Night, I really would like to get out the door and get busy on getting the things we're gonna need. Oop, that's the wrong block, and get things put together that we're gonna need for this. Uh, to further the construction along, which is going to be mechanical parts, electrical parts, all that good stuff. So we're going to have to go on some raids. And I thought what we do is we could go to the city and we go there and we could probably find a few things that we need right off the bat. I'm hoping there'd be a, there's a hardware store there that we can get into and uh, get some, uh, maybe find a nail gun, maybe find a um, an auger would be nice. Find an auger. And then, uh, if not, one of you guys wanted me to head south out of the area. Uh, wanted me to follow the road this way and see where it takes me. So I might be willing to try something like that out, too. So now that's a gap. This should not be a gap. And this one should be a gap. So this is where I'm going to wind up screwing things up again. Possibly. 
So I'll tell you what, I'll come back. I'm gonna go ahead and tinker with this a little bit more and get this taken care of. I've got concrete downstairs uh, still, still cooking up. And then I've got uh, rebar frames as well. So I'll probably go downstairs, grab that stuff, and get this uh, started to fix. Because, yeah, after tonight's horde night, I want to get out and about and go uh, go do a little exploring. We, we only have the one trader that we know of. So it'd be kind of nice if we could find a trader or two as well. So I'll be right back. I've got it fixed up. It did not take as long as I thought it was going to take. I, I, I got off track for a little while, but then I got myself back on track right away. So it looks to me... It's <laughs> Looks to me like I've got this all straightened out. Let me know if you see anything different, but I believe that's all straightened out now, so that's great. So that's taken care of as well. So that mistake is repaired. Uh, wow, we got a lot of things taken care of actually today. A lot of maintenance stuff waiting for Horde Knight to get here, and that is getting the witch area spiked. Uh, getting that uh, area where I was digging up the clay. A couple of things I've learned uh, just, just recently with your guys' help is, number one, I should probably pick a different place to dig up the clay uh, so it's farther away. It's not right up next to where we're going to be building. That's one thing. Either that or build over a chunk of clay. Okay, you're cold. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry. And, and, and do that. Build a little bit closer that way. Uh, I'm going to take some of this stuff downstairs with me and get get it out of here. Actually, let's leave the dirt here. You just never know when you're going to need some dirt. And we'll throw this stuff over here like that. We don't need that up here. I want to clear out some of this stuff. Some frames in here, some wood. Some of this stuff is just fine to have in here. But I wanted to take that out of there. And we've got some more stuff over in this chest here. Can I grab all of that? No. But we'll leave the concrete mix up here. We'll leave these spikes up here. Uh, the rifle stock, uh, we'll actually take that with us. Uh, let's take those guys, these guys, the shotgun short barrel, oh my god. Uh, we can leave that up here as well. Uh, the hammer, uh, we'll have one on us, so we don't need to bring, leave that up here. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. What else do I, should I keep up here? Uh, we'll keep that scrap iron up here, so we'll take that. We're going to leave the splint up here, so we'll take those pipes downstairs. That should be pretty good. I mean, so we know this stuff is not loot. This is where we're going to dump our loot stuff right here. So that's going to be good. All right, let's go downstairs. Uh, Horde night, just a few hours away now. So if we get this stuff put away and get back upstairs, we should be good to go. I'm, as far as I know, I've got all the ammunition on me. Armor, I'm not going to get to it. I'm just not going to be able to make it in time to uh, get that taken care of. Oh, man, I can't quite get that to break. I run through here, try to finish those last two pieces off while I'm running, and it just doesn't seem to work. You know, just something I do for my own uh, amusement. My own amusement. Uh, let's turn the light on so you guys can see. All right, so in here we have parts. Parts, parts, parts is parts. And that's not a part. That's a part, though. That's some parts. And those are some parts. All right, beautiful. Painkillers go in here like so along with those empty jars and that moldy bread. Over here we have our lead. Uh, that's about it there. Down here we have sandstone and irons. Go over here. We're running low on the iron front as well. Oh, you know what I wanted to do real quick? Repair. Let's do that real quick. Ah, nice, nice cleaned up pick. I doubled up on the crossbows, so our crossbows looking pretty good. What else do we have to get rid of? We have some rebar frames here that can go in there. Um, bones and cash. Where am I? I? I can never remember where I'm putting my money. It's over here because when we we're gonna need it when we go to the trader. So we've got that there. Feathers. You can see here we're low on feathers. Under a hundred feathers. That is not a good thing. Lead pipes go in there. Uh, we're almost there. This here. Rifle stock. And what else did I have on me? I had some bones, 129 bones. So we've got a we've got a fair supply of bones for glue. I mean, I've made up some more glue, but you know that's that's a fair supply. And I don't think I need any wood on me. I'm gonna take most of this wood and put this in here. Oh, beautiful! Look at that. Yeah, let's just take a little bit with us. We'll just keep a little bit on her, just in case. Uh, shotgun is gonna go down here. The hammer can go up here. Oh, we got a we got a, a rifle stock. Our shotgun barrel, I should say. And we have some paper on us as well. We can dump that off. And we've got one more barrel over here. Boom. All right, beautiful. So I've got a couple of extra first aid kits for us just in case. Molotov cocktails, of course. We're going to want those. We have our handgun. We've got our bolts. We've got our bullets and our shotgun shells. Uh, we've got a few frames in case we need them for anything. Our poncho, we have water. 
Um, how's our personal food looking? 71% food, 63% water. Okay, so let's go ahead and top off our water while we're thinking about it. Drink. Okay, that's at 90%. That's a beautiful thing. And then let's go ahead and grab... Well, you know what? The cornbread is all in here. Look at this. Blueberry pies, water, and cornbread. Very nice. Uh, nope, I want in here. There we go. Water, uh, blueberry pies, and some cornbread. Let's leave most of that in here. We're going to take a little bit of that with us just for some snack food. Let's eat a blueberry pie, see where that takes us. That should get us almost to full, I would think. 83%. That's pretty awesome. And we've got two meat stews down here for backup. I also uh, made some tallow up for candles. I haven't made any candles yet, but I thought, well, what the heck? I'm going to give it a try and see what that's all about. I did make antibiotics, which is cool. Uh, you can do that with the uh, old sandwiches and the moldy bread, which was pretty awesome. These guys I'm holding on to so I can make medical kits with them. That, I don't know why it's up there. Uh, cornmeal is uh, probably should be down here and away from all the medical supply stuff. But there we go. We're looking pretty good. And you know what else we should take? We should take a couple of the beers with us just in case for some reason we get out and about and we need one. We can, we can do that. What don't we need in our inventory? This is kind of our tool chest. We don't need this. We don't need our axe. Uh, we're going to keep the hammer, like I said. We need our machete. We have our hunting knife for carving the zombies up later. Our shotgun, our pistol. Old Blue's going to stay behind because it's just too slow of a fire rate. I'd rather have the shoddy with me. I've got health kits. I've got bandages. We've got the beer. Um, I think we're good to go. I really don't know what else to do uh, prior to Horde Night getting here. So I'm just going to uh, hang back and relax for a couple of hours. Take a few deep breaths <laughs> and prepare for Horde Night. So that's going to be coming up next. We'll be uh, jumping into the Horde. So stick around. I shall return. Sip my coffee. Getting geared up. Two minutes to go. Uh, I want to keep an eye on this area right here. We're going to turn our light on. I've got the gamma turned up and i got the sounds turned down so Horde's not, Horde Night's not quite as loud. So here we go. Let's make sure nobody spawns inside the border here. So far, so good. Okay, they're coming from the other side. Beautiful. Let's get ourselves down here and see how our little trap works, huh? Looks like they're coming in from this side over here. Beautiful. There's Tubby. Ooh, let's do a crossbow bolt. Okay. If we keep sliding down, it should draw them over this way, right? So they're not all focused in one little area. There we go. Yeah, that's right. Share the love, people. Share the love. Watching for cops as well this night. Now, why are they banging on the walls? Just because they ran into them, I guess, huh? Don't see any cops yet. Make Billy stop what he's doing down there. How are we doing down here? Kind of quiet, huh? Pete, you like to come off soon, buddy? There we go. That's nice. Okay, I like that. Now, if we had the blade traps in here, it'd be chopping them up. Oh, these big guys, man. They're hitting the wrong spot. You guys, didn't didn't you get the memo? Nice. Wow, those guys are durable. No cops as of yet. There we go. That's it, guys. Come on in here. There you go. 
Wow, look how fast they run across those spikes, huh? No cops as of yet. Where's this big fella at? Yeah, we're gonna have to definitely get these corners taken care of. That's it, big guy. That's it. How long does it take for their legs to come off? No cops yet. I'm a little surprised. Aren't you guys a little surprised this day Fortnite 21? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't know what the heck I was doing, but that was the wrong thing to do. <laughs> I hit E. I didn't think I was going to fall off of there. Oh, you know what I did? I picked up the block right from underneath my feet. That's what I did. <laughs> okay. It's pretty quiet. It's actually a pretty quiet horde night. I'm a little surprised. Let's get back over there. <laughs> Oops. Wrong button. Let's get that replaced before I do that <laughs> again. <laughs> wow, it's it's very quiet. I didn't lower any levels or anything like that. It's just a quiet night here at the uh, the old horde night. The shotgun's about worthless. Uh, they're doing a bit of damage to the walls on the inside, so I think I think these walls this is gonna kind of a good experiment for me. Pete, let's save our shotgun rounds. Oh, there we go. Got a biker guy coming in. That's a, that's a thing. A little something different happening here. I hear a dog. Pete took one for the chant. He's like a chant man. So if I take that, I should be able to take a Molotov. Uh, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's grab the Molotovs. There we go. And we should be able to light these guys up. That should take care of them right there. Nice. Gets them all. So the big mamas are coming in. Still no cops. Oh, look at that. It, gets, it actually lights up both sides of that, too. That's pretty handy. No, don't hit the walls, buddy. So they are trying to hit the walls to get to me when they can't come in the, 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 the lane they want to and I'm a little further over. I do see that happening. So yeah, they're de definitely coming over that way. So I wanna, I'm going to come over here. There we go. Let's get these guys to come into this side over here instead. And we're going to light these guys up in this middle. That should light all those guys up. I'm actually going to need this here. Let's turn this off. Like, let's shut that down right there. We're going to get these guys to start coming down this way a little bit. 
I don't want the uh, spider zombies when they start showing up to, to start using that area. Come on now. Some lag going on a little bit. Oh my god. Why can't I hit this guy? He's dead. Oh, look at him get above the bodies there. That's cool looking. That's good to see. Let's finish them all off. Biker's down. Still no cops. I could have sworn we were going to have cops. Let's see, if, if I run down here, will they come all the way down here? Yeah, look at them come. Look at them come down. That's nice. I like that. Okay, I like that. Oh, I'm so glad I landed on top of that thing. Oh, there's a cop. No, 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 copper. Woo. No, 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 no. Cop, you dang cop. <laughs> okay. We do have cops showing up. Is he dead or is he just pretending to be dead? I think he's dead. We do not watch for the cops, huh? That did him in. Oh, 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 big man goes down with a bang. Cop. Okay, another cop down. Nice, 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 nice. Oh man, there's so many of these big guys. They're like football players, man. They just roll right through that stuff. I'll be curious to see how much damage is done on the walls. Thinking that the uh, spider zombies could be showing up here pretty quick. Cops, none. Oh, 
shotgun is just kind of worthless on these guys. Uh, okay, I'm freezing. Cop. Come on, big fella. Oh, sweet mama. <laughs> Those are just so much fun to use. Uh, let's go see if we can clean up some of these bigger guys. They're going to be causing the most damage down here. Uh, this guy right here. Molotov him. He should be almost dead, I would think. There we go. Barbed wire is going to be something I'm going to want to put down there, huh, in the end. Just to slow them down even more. Eight Molotovs left. Our Horde Knight should be coming to an end here pretty quick. Not that it was much to begin with, but, you know, it's me. It's the new guy. Boy, these big guys just don't go down. They are just powerful. There we go. Keanu. Uh, all right, so we've got somebody. We got some still alive in here. Let's take a look and see. I see a lot of bodies piled up. I don't know if I lost a lot of bodies, but we'll see. Oh, here we go. Where is he? There he is, right there. There's, there's the big guy. I know I saw Keanu somewhere around here, somewhere. There he is, right there. Let's go back to our regular crossbow bolts. We'll just kind of take him out from here, like so. There we go. Looks like we got a crawler coming in from over there. Yeah, I'd say that's probably about wraps it up for the Horde Knight. The only thing we have not seen yet is a spider zombie. Uh, damage? I, I don't know. It's really hard to tell with the corpses and stuff laying on here just how much damage we have. We could probably go downstairs and start looting some of those bodies and see if we can cut them up. We could leave Mr. Crawler there to just uh, kind of fend for himself. And uh, he's going to keep our Horde Knight nice and quiet for the rest of the night. Uh, so let's do that. Let's go downstairs. Uh, we've got the shoddy on. Okay, let's go like this. Let's take this off. Let's get our hunting knife. And let's go down there and see if we can't... Um, uh, loot some bodies and see what kind of stuff we've got going on. Maybe make some repairs while we're at it. Uh, let's grab our concrete. And let's do this. And let's get our hammer down on the club. There we go. Perfect. Alright, how are we doing down here? What kind of damage is we talking about? Not bad. I think a lot of this is probably explosive damage caused by me and the bolts that we're shooting. Like so. Yeah, it would be my bet that, that we're causing most of this damage with the explosive bolts. But so far, not not too bad. Uh, we'll see what it looks like inside the trap, though. I mean, that's going to be that's going to be the, really the key, huh? Uh, here we go, and up we go. Okay, I can't fix those. I don't have the stuff on me. 
can even reach those. I can reach that one right there. The one closest to me. I could definitely get a hold of that one. Nope, not out there. My goal is to really just be alive and safe. <laughs> it's, that's, that's my goal. Might as well fix this stuff up over here. Okay, I could search out two. Out two zombies far. If I hit control, can I if I if I crouch, can I get him then? There he is. There he is. I can get one. That's not very good. Get him. Get him. Crawl over him, Mary. You could do it, baby. You could do it. Oh. 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 She didn't make it. She didn't make it. Yeah, it's not too bad, right? I mean, the damages and stuff. I, I, of course, we, we expect damages, but... Oh. If I stand up... Oh, she's dead. Oh, club schematic. That's nice. Well, the Horde Knight went by pretty quick. I don't know if you guys notice bodies exploding or anything like that. Your skill in shotguns is now a level 6. Congratulations, Radio! Look what you've done! <laughs> you've sent so many zombies to their death. Nice, look at that. Alright, so I'm going to have to spend a little bit of time repairing all this stuff, but not it's not going to take too long. Hello, little zombie. Empty zombie. Hmm. Thing is, I don't know how I'm gonna get to those bodies right there. You know, it's 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 a work in progress for me. I'm I'm, I'm learning. Uh, let's go ahead and drink a little something. Let's eat a little something. Oh, look at that. We're 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 doing just great. Just great. That's gonna wrap it up, I think. Just Horde Night is uh, pretty uneventful. Had some cops, which was cool. Uh, took them down pretty fast, which uh, makes me happy. Uh, escape, there we go. Makes me very happy that they went, they, they died so quickly. And I don't think we've got any more bodies down here. We got, I guess, guess we've got a couple of bodies down here. Yeah, not too shabby, not too shabby at all. Let's get the uh, let's get the metal too. Boom! Let's do that right there. And then hopefully this next night. And then we didn't have anybody spawn inside. I don't know if it was because I was there or what. Oh my god! Look at the moon. It's brutal. Um, I don't know if it was because we were standing more in the middle or not. I think you guys might be right. I was so far away from this area that it was uh, legal distance for the zombies to spawn in on. So, you know, there's that. They did a number on that. Oh, that's just cruel. There we go. Bingo. Bingo, bongo, boingo. Look at that, though. Yeah, if I just get if we get some concrete and stuff going while we're uh, 
out and about, you know, shopping for parts and stuff. When we get back, we should have enough material to uh, take care of all these things. Let's go down here so he just... Uh... Ooh. Ooh, sweet mama. <laughs> sweet mama. And then other than falling off the building, taking the block out from underneath my own feet, uh, I'd say it went pretty well. I, I've got to say it went pretty well. Oh, well, here comes a nurse. Oh, splint, nice. Okay, so we did lose a body right there, so they are exploding on top of each other. You guys were 100% right about that. 100% right about that. Yeah, we've only got a couple hours left. It's just going to be a bunch of slow zombies after this. Uh, maybe a spider zombie or two, but... Nice. Okay. All right. I think that's going to wrap it up, guys. Uh, nothing too exciting for the, even the, the loot. It's just kind of uh, run-of-the-mill stuff, you know. It's not uh, not the fantastic stuff, but, you know, it'll do. It works for me. I've got a little stuff to melt down for the next Horde Night. Uh, we've got this. Of course, we already know it, so we could sell that. Uh, some food. A little bit of paper. We got this. We got another splint. Sandwich. Nails. Yeah, it's kind of not too... Uh, not too exciting, huh? In terms of loot. And not much at all. Uh, I guess this trap is not going to be set up to uh, actually get a whole lot of uh, loot. Oh, there goes, there's a guy way out there. Oh, 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 sweet mom. I don't know if you guys can see him. It's Keanu. There we go. I love it when they swing their head side to side like that. Perfect opportunity to take that head right off. And hopefully we talk care of the, the witch situation. The base is all upgraded to the full concrete, which is magnificent. So yeah, I think it's a pretty successful work day for the Horde Day 21. I think we did a pretty good job of getting things taken care of. Cops cause damage up here too with their, with their barf. Their barf. I'm over here. I'm over here. Thank you. A little high there. You know, I noticed we have a lot of luau guys this time around. A whole bunch of luau. Why am I missing? There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, lots of luau guys, and they cause quite a bit of damage down this end. But again, look, it's not too bad. We get the spikes fixed up, turn those into steel. We're going to have to cook up a lot of steel. Lots of steel. I would love to get these guys upgraded to steel. Oh, counter's back. Look at him run right in there. Put him down. Come on, that was a total headshot. There we go, beautiful. All right, guys, that's gonna wrap it up. I think I think we're done for the night. Uh, that's that's gonna do it. I've got an hour and a half to go, so the next day we're gonna go off and do a little exploring. We'll leave the base as is. I'm not too concerned about a wandering horde or anything like coming in and causing any big amounts of damage to it. So I think we'll be okay. I can't hit her. If she was the broad side of a barn, I wouldn't be able to hit her. So if you enjoyed our episode today, do hit that like button for me. Comment, subscribe, and share. I'm the Radio Man 3 I want you to have an awesome, a fantastic, and a superb day. And I do look forward to talking to you again next time. Oh yeah, we like that when that happens.